In the event that the president, in the event the president, that's Randy Hales, yeah, yeah, yeah. cannot perform his duties for any reason, complete control of Power Pro Wrestling will be given to the vice president of the corporation. Mr. Well, Cornett, wait, 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 wait a minute, Cornett, Cornett, Cornett listen up. I'd like you to up. meet the vice president of Power Pro Wrestling, Mr. Corey Macklin. What? It's right here, it's black and white, Cornett. Yeah, yeah. Meet yourself. We, we have a matchmaker that Cornett has been talking about. Well, Kevin Christian, I hate to inform you, thank you much, we need your services anymore. Yeah. You're fired, Dave. Let's go. <laughs> I knew this morning we had to have a new matchmaker. Let's play the music for our new matchmaker of Power Pro Wrestling, huh? Bring him out here right now. Let's get him out here. Our new matchmaker is from Bad Street. <laughs> Brandon Baxter. Oh, Brandon. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come here, good one. Yeah. <laughs> Power Pro Wrestling. Wolfie D, much, much more all coming up on today's Power Hour. I'm Dave Brown with Corey Macklin in the ring right now. We are just about set to go with the opening match. As soon as we get one more person in here, then uh, we'll be ready to roll. We will. We'll get ready to ring the bell and get it underway. We're going to see. And Wicked is about to make his arrival into the Power Hour today. The former Young Guns champion. Here's some words. One name comes to mind. And that kid wicked. And tonight at the New Daisy, there's a tournament for that title. And I'm going to show everybody in Memphis why the title's mine, and I'm going to do it in a wicked way. In the, in the ring right now, Jay Gillette, newcomer to Power Pro Wrestling. He is uh, in here. He, he is uh, quite a star, I understand, in uh, NWA New England. He's from the Boston, Massachusetts area. And he is here today to go against former Young Guns champion, Kid Wicked. By the way, coming up tonight at New Daisy Theater, that vacated Young Guns title will be at stake. That's one reason Jay Gillette is in here, to attempt to become the Young Guns champion. No doubt about it. Jay Gillette with the reversal. Lex Scissors takes Kid Wicked down. Very nice First move. look at uh, Jay Gillette, Dave, here in uh, Power Pro Wrestling. Comes in very highly recommended. Heard a lot about this young man. And we are looking forward to seeing him in action as our opening bout today on Power Pro Wrestling. Remember, we are for Wayne is out. Check him and uh, get a little company at ringside, Dave. Eric King and C.B. Wyatt have come wandering out here. Why are you here? We've got a match underway. You know, I, I heard you guys talking about the big Young Guns tournament tonight. Well, you know, Dave, I've, tra I've, I've chased the Young Guns title for about a year now. Yep. And I really think it's time that I win the Young Guns title tonight, you know, with the you know, big tournament going on tonight. I'm here to say that I'm going to win the title tonight. I mean, well, one time I would agree with you. I, I thought you uh, were certainly uh, ready and would win the Young Guns title, but you seem to have lost focus somewhere along the way. And especially with that C.B. Wyatt back in your corner, I don't like the looks of that. There's Robbie D out here, too. Everybody. Yes, yeah, Slick Robbie D shows up at ringside. You know, I think I deserve the Young Guns title. Because as you can see, the chicks, the Slick has changed his style. You see, I don't come out dancing no more, baby, because it's all about business. It's about winning. And I'm telling y'all, y'all better watch out, because I'm the one to be reckoned with. Well, everybody 
He says they're going to win the title tonight. The two guys in the ring certainly want to. Here comes Alan Steele out here now. Now, they haven't been here very long in Power Pro, but they finally realize they have some talent. They want to give me an opportunity. The first opportunity to get on this title tonight. So I'm telling you now, all you guys listen up. My first shot, I'm taking the title home with me tonight. Alan Steele, everybody confident that they're going to win that title tonight. It's a, it's a tournament. You do not have tournament. a defending champion. The reason yeah. is Bradley was a Young Guns uh, title holder. is now the Power Pro champion. He can't hold both belts. No. So the Young Guns title is vacated. And now all of these guys think, oh, now it's mine. I don't have to beat a champion. Oh, look at Jake Gillette off the top rope. Two count. How many times I've won the title? Right there, and I've never been given the title. Well, tonight, I'm going to win the title. The I'm well, you got to do it in the ring, Derek King. That's all I can say. And, oh, oh, neck breaker neck by King. Kid Wicked, a two count, three count, he gets the win. And let me tell you, Kid Wicked has got to go in as the favorite in that tournament tonight. New days he ought to build. It's a one night tournament for the Power Pro Young Guns Championship. And Kid Wicked held it from its inception, Dave. And as I said, he's got to go in as the favorite down at the New Daisy. A long time holder, he almost uh, could be considered a defending champion. But everybody will have a shot tonight at the New Daisy Theater. We got a lot more to go on the Power Hour. We're here today. Once you go away, hey, remember, Fort Emmett is true or not too far away. Memphis sure has grown. More people, more traffic, and more tourists. And everybody's in a hurry. So it makes sense to protect yourself with auto insurance from Bill Blake. For 30 years, the hometown boys have been providing auto insurance for Memphis drivers. No down payment, easy monthly payments, and you can save up to 50%. Accidents happen, and one can happen to you. So see the hometown boys at Bill Blake Insurance today. Bill Street is the only place you ought to be singing the blues. I just want to celebrate. We're moving out the 99s with huge savings during the Ford Authorized Clearance. Just announced 0.9% financing plus 500 cash back on the 99 Explorer. That's 0.9 plus 500 cash back on the best-selling SUV in America. And get low 0.9 financing on the roomy and powerful expedition. in now for the best selection during the Ford Authorized Clearance at your local Ford dealer. It's Fleming's big blowout birthday party and you're invited. Sarah Bennett came to the party with blowout savings. Quintet starting at $199. You'll sleep better, feel better after you come to the party at Fleming's. Like 10th Annual Southern Heritage Classic. Flash of the Classic. Tennessee State Tigers versus Jackson State Tigers. Saturday, September 11th, 6 p.m. Liberty Bowl Stadium. Tickets are now on sale at all area Ticketmaster outlets, including selected Piggly Wiggly locations. To charge by phone, call 901-525-1515. Okay, cut it. From the creator of Law & Order, a second Law & Order series. Law & Order, new faces. How many women? 67. How many are still alive? Law & Order, special cases. I hate him. For what he did to you. Law and Order Special Victims Unit, Mondays this fall on NBC. For free TV5 Power Pro Wrestling tickets, send a self addressed stamped envelope to TV5 Power Pro Wrestling, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. Uh, here we are. Uh, we are indeed on the Power Hour, and wild things have been going on around here, including last night over in uh, Blytheville, Arkansas. Uh, take a look at this action from uh, matches. Which, that's Jim Cornette with that's, the uh, sport coat. Actually, after the match, in the kitchen area of the concession stands over in Blytheville, yeah. Steve Bradley working on Kurt Angle back in that kitchen area. And just running wild after the matches were over. Yeah, there's the Cornette. Cornette continuing on his project to try to hurt everybody. Cornette throwing all those tarts on uh, Angle right there. Yeah, they're running his head into the, what, what is it, a freezer or cabinets or something. Man. And then getting all the uh, delivery cartons and anything they can find. And just working Kurt over. Ah, uh, no, he's not over. That's a freezer over there he's got open. Cornette and Bradley in the, uh, again, this is from last night's action over in Blyville, Arkansas, Power Pro Wrestling. This is after the match. Yeah, they're putting him in that freezer there. Yeah, Cornette with that tennis racket. They're trying to, we're trying to get him in the uh, in the deep freeze there, and that uh, 
that big freezer. Oh, oh fire there's extinguisher. A, and there's oh, Brandon, oh, Brandon Baxter. Baxter behind that thing. The matchmaker out there to uh, to help rescue uh, yeah. Kurt Angle, who was put in the freezer right there. But once again, this is a perfect example of that cornet and, uh, and his tennis racket. Yeah. Stop. No, he, he and, stop. And he, he's got uh, uh, Tierney and Kalka and, uh, and all those thugs, and they're just running wild. Bradley, all of them running wild. Yeah, uh, no, in spite of the best efforts of everybody else, in power pro wrestling. Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, here's the music, and uh, we're gonna have action coming up here in the ring in just a moment. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Here he is. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Here is. Is what you are, you know what? We're going to have a fine conversation if you stand there in an ugly-looking suit and don't open your mouth. Let me let me just run down the points. Let me talk about what's going on. Let me talk about what this great collection has accomplished. Randy Hales, you are hospitalized, son, and no longer a part of Power Pro Wrestling. And I can't believe how nice this television show is without having to look down at Adam's apple bobbing up and down. Let's Come talk on, about... Man. Shut up. Let's talk about Doug Gilbert. Doug Gilbert, thanks to my man, Coca Tierney, that he is hospitalized. He's out of commission. He's injured. <laughs> and you know something, Dougie? It would all have been so simple if you'd have just turned your tail and run. Let's talk about somebody else. Let's talk about Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle has gone back to Olympic land, wherever he came from. You know why? Because we stuck him in a deep freeze and put him on ice. Kurt, didn't your mother ever tell you not to play in those abandoned refrigerators? That can be very dangerous for children. Let me explain something else. Brandon Baxter is in a bad, bad way as matchmaker because he's losing talent left and right. Let me tell you something else. Stunning Steve Bradley, sensational Steve Bradley, sexy Steve Bradley. He is the man that's the power pro champion, and he's going to be undefeated for a long time to come. So you see, Jim, wait a second, wait a second. What? I've never been the type of guy to want to brag about anything that I do. I mean, we can talk all day about how I beat everyone in this company probably tenfold. But the real story of everything here is how you, Jim Cornette, pinned Brandon Baxter in record time. What was that, three, two, three seconds? Three seconds. Oh, no, wait a minute now. That's not exactly how it happened. Brandon was knocked out. He was unconscious. He was knocked out cold before the thing ever started. It's, it's not my fault that Brandon has personal problems and he was unconscious the point is i brandon baxter pinned you one two three in three seconds at the new daisy so well so you're right so speaking of my speaking of brandon baxter speaking of brandon baxter has problems because you ain't got no main event tonight son because kurt angle is gone and steve bradley's got nobody to defend the power pro title against so you better start booking matches left and right now because we need some more fresh meat now, hey, speaking of Brendan Baxter, my matchmaker, well, he's got an award for you, Cornette. Brendan, are you back in the back? Yeah, I'm back here. Listen here, motor mouth Jim Cornette. Can you hear me real good, Jim Cornette? Because you need to listen real carefully. You say that I don't have a main event for the New Daisy Theater tonight. Well, you're wrong. Because the main event is a rematch for the Power Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, your supposed sensational champion, Steve Bradley. I guess the man who I say and the people think should be the Power Pro Champion in Kurt Angle. But it's not just a regular wrestling match, no. It's a marathon match. And what that means is that the match goes 30 minutes. And the winner of the most falls will be the Power Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion and will walk out of the New Daisy Theater with that belt. And Jim Cornette, you've always waited for that one chance, that one opportunity. Well, tonight, for 30 minutes, Jim Cornette, that one opportunity, it doesn't matter because the winner of the most falls is the winner of the match. And I don't think you can last 30 minutes at ringside. Oh, Brandon Baxter, marathon match tonight. Well, let me just say this. I don't think Kurt Angle's even going to show up, but if he does, I guarantee he's going to He's well, Big Grimes out. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It looks like you got yourself a little stable here. But there's one problem. I am the innovator of hardcore. And what's going on? The problem is I'm not involved. Huh? I'm not involved in your little stable. Huh? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? How about me? You, this little stable, I'll take you guys to the top. So so what you're saying is you want to be part of the organization. Well, you know, Vic, I appreciate that, and that's all very well and good, but you see, you know how sometimes 
some people just don't fit in with a certain group. You know, whether it be because of their appearance or their financial status or whatever, you know, they don't fit in with a group. Well, you know, I, I look around and I see Bradley and I see Cook and I see Tierney, great athletes, bodybuilders, beautiful physiques, and then I see, you know. And, and then I look at myself and Kevin Christian here, I see well-dressed, successful businessmen. And then I look here and I see, uh, it's nice. But I think the most important thing is, is, you know, all this hardcore stuff you do, you know, innovator of violence from out in Monterey, California, or San Jose Concord, out on 92nd Street, whatever. Um, I think that's all well and good and fine and great, but the problem is we are not mad at furniture. We don't like to beat up tables and chairs. We like to beat up wrestlers. That's what the deal is. So I tell you what, maybe it'd be the best thing for everybody concerned so you don't get embarrassed if you just waddle on out to the dressing room. Hey, whoa, look out. A little confrontation between Jim Cornette and Grimes. Listen to me one second, because I want to talk to you here now. I didn't mean to offend you, and I'm sorry if I said anything wrong, oh, yeah, but right. I think that before we make any foolish options this morning, before we make any bad choices, right. we should just look around us and consider our options and realize that we don't want violence to take place this morning, do we, Vic? So what the thing to do would be to just go ahead and let them... Yeah, well, Cornette, you just talked your way into more trouble. Vic Grimes is upset that... Uh... Cornette has just kind of shoved him off there. Not Let that me tell you this something. Group. I'm glad I didn't have to slap the taste out of his mouth. I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, you should be glad he didn't slap it out of your mouth, Cornette. Let's take a break. Be back one more. And get all these guys and get out of here. Most compact club cabs just aren't cut out for big loads. So you end up leaving a little cargo behind having to lose a little weight, cutting your fun short. Dodge Dakota, however, comes up big with more available payload, towing, and power. Dakota, anything less doesn't cut it. Now get up to a $1,500 cash allowance on a Dodge Dakota. In a world where aliens live among us, the unthinkable has been thunk. I think I might be pregnant. <laughs> People are vultures. How the hell can we live like this? I'm seduced by the big giant head. I'm a rocket man, you know. Can I help you jettison your pants? Will the alien baby tear a family apart? The alien baby is coming to Third Rock this fall on NBC. Your Memphis Redbirds have four games left, and they've planned a great Labor Day weekend for you and your family. Be one of the first 1,000 fans in the gate and get a collectible post-dispatch newspaper commemorating Mark McGuire's record-breaking home runs. That's four collectibles in all. Friday, see sport live in action. Saturday, a kid's carnival before the game. Sunday, fantastic fireworks. And Monday, AutoZone Park t-shirts for the first 5,000 fans. Join WMC-TV, FM 100, and AM 790 for Labor Day weekend with the Redbirds. Action News, 5 a.m. The news you need that gets you ready for the day ahead. Here's what's making news this morning. Anchors Kim Clark and Richard Ransom have the day's top stories. Top stories, the remarkable news from overnight. While you were sleeping, a major development. And what's planned for the day ahead. We have some very important information. Ron Childers has weather on the fly. A great start weather-wise this morning. But and up to the minute traffic reports with Wendy Hayes. And watch out for the construction delay. Start your day with Richard, Kim, and Ron on Action News, 5 a.m. All right. Let's take, oh, yeah. Let's take a look at uh, some of the action coming up uh, around the territory. Beginning tonight, New Daisy Theater, we've already talked about it. Nine big matches, including a big marathon match. Brandon Baxter just uh, talked about that, and Jim Cornette <laughs> is not too happy about it. But that makes me happy that Cornette is not happy. I know it. The I Quit match, the stretcher match, that tournament we've talked about for the Young Guns Championship, it all happens tonight on Beale Street at the New Daisy Theater. Eight o'clock, the bell sounds, and it all kick off. you got the one-night tournament for the Young Guns Championship, all coming up tonight. Nine big matches, New Daisy on Bill Street. And also coming up this afternoon, Dave, yep. over at Bell's Factory Outlet Mall. Yeah, guys. before the uh, before the Beale Street action tonight, uh, Tierney and Kulka, Vic Tierney, Glenn uh, Kulka, so, uh, you know, I don't know, I hope Cornette doesn't tag along with them, too. Uh, no. They're going to be out at Bell's Factory Outlet Mall. That's exit 20, Canada Road exit out in Lakeland. There's a the big uh, sports card show, baseball or sports card show there. One to three today, they will be at Bell's Factory Outlet Mall. That's off exit 20, Canada Road in Lakeland. 
so uh, Power Pro uh, stars will be out there this afternoon. Then after tonight, Power Pro goes uh, up the way to Selmer, Tennessee, McNary County Fair. Oh, yeah. Always a big fair up there. 7 o'clock is the bell time. Power Pro Wrestling Spectacular. It's free with uh, paid admission to the McNary County Fair. September 1, Wednesday night, Power Pro right there in Selmer, Tennessee. Then the following night, Thursday night, Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. This one's going to be at the National Guard Armory. Odds are even. It's presented by K Fine. Advanced tickets on sale at the National Guard Armory right now. Mm -hmm. Make your plans uh, over northeastern Arkansas. Walnut Ridge, Thursday night. Speaking of K Fine, I saw Gary Harpo around here earlier. Yeah, I think he's in the house. Savannah, Tennessee, Friday, September 11th, Harding County Fair in Savannah. Jim Cornette is signed for the card there. Steve Bradley, Kurt Angle. Brandon Baxter and many more of the Power Pro Stars. September 11th, Savannah, Tennessee. Then back to Clarksdale, Mississippi, coming up Friday night, September 17th. In the weeks ahead, that's exactly right at the Civic Auditorium. Uh -huh. Always a great time in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Don't forget, tonight it's the New Daisy Theater. Nine big matches coming up. It should be a wild one coming up down there uh, at the uh, New Daisy Theater. Nine. Oh, one yeah. of the guys that's going to be around, Cannonball. Let's mm. listen to Cannonball right now. Big Canadian pro football star, Glenn Kolka. Do you know what the scoop is, Kolka? You won't have to ask around. The scoop is tonight at the new Daisy Theater, Bill Street. It's me and you in the stretcher match. That means you're going to feel the cannon elbow ball straight from the top rope right down to the cement floor and you're gonna leave in the stretcher and that's a payback for you and all your group that tried to take my leg off tonight stretcher match Kolka. Gannon Ball is gonna be there he's gonna be here right now going against that man right there he's not too happy I bet Big yeah Ryan. how about the little turn down this morning on the power hour Big Grimes says, hey, how about me, Cornette? You got all your other guys out here. How about me joining the stable? And Jim says, oh, I don't think so. so. Uh, one insult after another to Big Grimes. And I, I can uh, assure you it doesn't sit well with Big Grimes. Here yeah. comes Cannonball. You know, Big can't think too much about uh, Cornette, though. He's got to be concerned with that man right there as Cannonball uh -huh. climbs up into the ring. Chris the Dragon Cannonball steps in and referee over the ring says, ring the bell, and here we go. On Power Pro Wrestling, and Cannonball backs up Big Grimes, goes after him there, right in the corner. Cannonball back for a couple of weeks after a long, long absence, after uh, having a uh, severely damaged leg, damaged by a baseball bat oh, yeah. uh, a few weeks ago. But he looks to be back at full speed now. Ooh, he picks Big Grimes straight up in the air, body and a big slam. body slam on huge Big Grimes. Talking about 400 pounds of picking up this guy and slamming him down, and he does it again. Cannonball! it on Vic Grimes, and uh, we heard Chris earlier talk about his match tonight. Oh, he misses right there. Yep, one Talk time too many. Tonight against Glenn Coca, stretcher match rules. Uh, that's exactly right. A lot of interesting matches, a lot of stipulations on the matches on Beale Street tonight at the New Daisy Theater. Cannonball back on his feet. Vic Grimes backs to a corner, in with a boot to the midsection. Comes Chris the Dragon. A uh, reversal here by Grimes. He whips him in hard into that turnbuckle. And Vic runs in, catches a boot look out. Power slam from Grimes. And he hammered him down. Drops the big leg down on Chris the Dragon Cannonball. And Great. Cannonball, man, was looking good there for a moment. They all of a sudden stopped. Yeah, by both uh, wrestlers. But all of a sudden, Vic Grimes grabs the upper hand. Can he capitalize now and take it to a three count of victory? He leaves Cannonball there. Cannonball struggling, trying to get on his feet. He hasn't done it yet. Grimes off the ropes. He's free. Oh! It was telegraphed. Uh, Vic, uh, Vic uh, Cannonball could see what he was doing, so uh, Cannonball just moved out of the way. Yeah, nobody home as he came off that top rope flying down. And Vic Grimes missed, and boy, look at Cannonball go with a couple of left hands. On Grimes, he backs him up into the ropes. He goes. Man, he just stops him like a Big Mac truck runs right into him. We're going to see later today, Dave, the Power Pro Heavyweight Champion, Steve Bradley. Saw him out earlier today. Oh, with the top rope. Oh, Chris lands on his feet, though. Man, talk Grimes about great athleticism. Man. Yeah. yeah. But uh, down on the floor, that's where Vic Grimes likes to be. Not oh, in the ring. He loves on the floor, it. in the parking lot, in the back room, whatever. That's where Vic Grimes can find some way to get an advantage. See yeah. if he can do it here. They're out on the floor. The referee's stolen the count on both of them. Looks like he's trying to go for a suplex, and he does! Out on a concrete Count. floor! 
Roy suplexes him, and the referee says, ring the bell. That's a 10 count. He, he just counted 10 on both wrestlers. Yeah. This match is over. We are going to be back with more of the Power Hour. Uh huh. Cornette's not far away. Don't forget, we got lots, lots more coming up. Uh -huh. Mick Tierney will be here to match a little bit later on, too. He's going to power drive on that concrete over there. Oh, God. The Mid-South, the world. Can you buy video games for as low as $4.95? Yeah, what's that? You say you want to buy video games for $4.95? Games Plus. Uh, you want to choose from the largest selection in town? Games Plus. And you want to buy, sell, rent, and trade video games? Games Plus. Well, there's only one place for you, my friend. Games Plus. It's who we are. I say speak up, son, or they won't know what's important. If this house could talk... It wouldn't tell you about the custom cabinets in each Fleetwood home, but about Coco and heart-to-heart -heart talks. And it wouldn't go on about our wall-to-wall -wall warranty, but about kids growing two inches in a year. Because at Fleetwood, we know the quality that counts most in a home is the quality homes. Quality for life. Call 1-800-350-2200 for a Fleetwood Homes retailer near you. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, the number one Dodge dealer in 25 states, Covington Pike Dodge, has new 2,000 Ram trucks for just $69.88, or at least for only $1.98 a month. And new 2,000 Caravans for only $17.98, or at least with zero tone and just $2.88 a month. Plus, a thousand dollar rebates on all 99 full-size Ram trucks. Discounts on every new 99 left in stock. Only at Tennessee's largest Dodge dealer, Covington Pike Dodge. It's easy to do business here. Their words make headlines. I don't have a lot of time to answer questions right now. Their jobs touch our lives. You don't send in the National Guard, you send food and you send doctors. Their decisions change the world. 1,200 Cubans left of this morning. They're seeking asylum. This fall, from the writer of A Few Good Men and the American President, go beyond the power. It's my job to tell the President that the best thing he can do is to show you the door. Inside the West Wing, Wednesdays this fall on NBC. It's exciting. It's loaded with stars. Bring the power for wrestling to your town. The perfect sports entertainment to raise money for your school or civic organization. Call 870-932-3028 today for more information. School leaders, civic group leaders, contact Power Pro Wrestling and bring the stars of Power Pro and the World Wrestling Federation to your hometown. Here's Mick Tierney booked in an I Quit match tonight at the new Daisy Theater. An I Quit match. That's exactly right. Are you kidding me, aren't you, Dave? No, that's what it is. Wolfie D? That's it. Now, if I remember correctly, the last time we met, he was bloody unconscious. His mother called me and told me that he quit. He didn't quit. He was unconscious, but he didn't quit. Now, let me tell you something, Dave Brown. I've got something to say to Wolfie D. I mean, have he, has he taken a good look at himself lately? I mean, he can't weigh more than 14 stone. He can't have more than an ounce of muscle on his entire body. He looks and he wants to get into the ring with me? Let me tell you something, Dave Brown. I kill people for a living. That's what I do. Now, if he wants to get in the ring with me again, he wants an I quit match tonight, that's fine. That's fine, but remember, he's going to be leaving the ring with several broken limbs. In fact, it's going to be his funeral. It's going to be an I quit match. He did not quit last time. I know you come out of here all the time and say he did. He did not. He was knocked out. We'll settle it at the New Daisy Theater tonight. I quit match. That's what's coming up tonight. You know what, Dave Brown? You know, I always hear about Wolfie D, how tough he is, and how, what a tremendous athlete he is, and how much punishment he can take. You know, if he's got so much bloody heart, why doesn't he get his butt out of here right now? And we'll have the I quit match tonight. Well, he's got, he's got, he's got more heart and guts than anybody else I know of, to tell you the truth. Get out of here now. Well, let's finish it. What do you say, people? Let's see it. Come on. I don't know. I hear you out there running that big mouth of yours, you know. It's been the same old song and dance for the past 10 years, ever since I started in this business. Wolfie D, I can beat you because I'm bigger than you. Wolfie D, I can beat you because I'm stronger than you. Well, let me tell you 
you something. You can go lift those 400-pound weights. You can lift those 500-pound dumbbells. But guess what? Them dumbbells ain't going to fight you back. Whoopi D is going to fight you back with everything he's got. And if today on this television show, if you want me in that ring in front of all these people, I'm going to humiliate you, pal, because you left me laying in the ring. Oh, yes, you did. You left me laying in a bloody pile. But I did not give up. I did not quit like you're trying to tell everybody. I passed out from loss of blood and being beat up the whole match. Basically, I'll admit it. I was beat up by 10 other guys. But tonight, it's me and you right here in this ring. I'm going to look you right in the eye. You're going to have to look me in the eye. And let me tell you something. Come here, man. Come here. You see this young kid right here? You might can do something like that to him. With somebody that's just starting out and just getting started in this business. But I've been around a while, man. And you ain't doing that to me. I'm here to tell you that Wolfie D is taking you to school because I'm cool like the water in a swimming pool. All right, there's a word from Wolfie D right there. Any time for him. If he wants more punishment, then bring it on, because that's my business. Well, I'm ready for you, Wolfie. Come on, dude. Any time. Well, I think we're going to try to try to do it here coming up a, a little bit later on. Maybe a little bit later on in the match here today. Right now, it's 11 o'clock in Memphis, Tennessee, and that's the normal time we start. Here we are live in Midtown Memphis. That's the time we normally start the power hour. Today, we're on a half hour early due to commitments to NBC Sports. Next week, we will begin the power hour at our regular time. At the regular time next week. So keep that in mind because, and we've still got lots to go today, Corey. Oh, no doubt about it. We're going to see Mick Tierney against Whoopi D, the I Quit Challenge match later in the show, and Jim Cornette is in the house wait again. Wait, 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 wait. That is wait. the ugliest looking city I've ever seen in my life. That stinking shot of this crummy redneck one horse town. Then leave. I would, I'd love to leave, and I'm going to leave right after this, this uh, event tonight at the New Daisy, I can assure you, on the first thing smoking, but there's a couple of things I want to do. First of all, I realize we were on a half an hour early this morning. I know a lot of people in Memphis aren't smart enough to be able to read their clock, probably can't figure out how to turn their TV on, so you might have missed some of the program. I know that these announcers are incapable of recapping the program to show you what you've missed, so since I, in addition to my other talents and capabilities, am also a professional announcer, I figured I would come out here and tell you what the highlight of the show has been. You know what the highlight of the show has been? When you left last uh, time. Yeah, me, when Bradley, you left. Bradley, Coca, Terry, we're the highlights all the time. You know what another highlight was? I'll tell you. It was when we put that stinking Olympian, Kurt Angle, on ice. Can we see that again? Do we have a shot? I'd love to see that tape again. No, have I don't. Got, no. no, we I don't. Well, I figure, every time I think about it. The announcer's probably still hung over from crawling down the gutter in Beale Street last night. The director and the producer and everybody back there in the control room are obviously all hung over. But I'll guarantee you this. It's going to be a big night tonight at the New Daisy. Because, Brandon Baxter, let's say I take you at your word. Let's say that Kurt Angle is going to be there tonight. It's going to be a marathon match. That means whoever wins the most falls in 30 minutes, Steve Bradley or Kurt Angle, is going to be the Power Pro champion. I got news for you. This man can go all night and then some. Just ask your sister, Angle, and I'm going to tell you something else. By the time he gets finished with you this time, Angle, you are going to rue the day that you ever left those pansy Olympics and came into a man's sport like professional wrestling. That's what's going to happen tonight. Kurt, Kurt Angle can take care of himself, I guarantee you, down he at the New Daisy. He has to take care of himself because hey. no female will touch him. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, you're forgetting one thing. What? There, there also seems to be another problem about tonight. What? You know, we got this main event, Kurt Angle, Steve Bradley, the marathon, but poor Brandon Baxter, apparently, he's going to be short a semi-main event because if, if Mick T and Wolfie D get in there today, Wolfie D's not going to be able to make it tonight because Mick Tierney, he is the deadly assassin. He will cripple Wolfie D. He will have him injured to where he probably won't even be able to walk out of the studio. So there there's no go. way he'll be so done. there you go, tonight. Baxter. You got no semifinal either, so you better get started getting on the phone, calling up your drunk friends and try to book some matches, pal. Come on now. Wolfie D's going to be crippled to it right now. Steve Bradley needs to do what Steve Bradley does best, and that's show the world what professional wrestling's all about and what a real athlete looks like. Well, let's get him in the ring right now, as a matter of fact. Quit running your mouth out here. We've seen far too much of you today. We thought we had Cornette somewhat under control with Corey in charge of the company, but Corey's just hard to, uh, it's hard to get the microphone away from James oh, Cornette. Oh, you telling me, man, I'm telling you, this guy is something. I hear the music. It sounds like the slick stuff. Slick Robbie D. Thanks, 
Anderson coming up on the power hour. We're on uh, 30 minutes early today, but guess what? We're back in regular time next week. And yes, man, indeed. Wait. We'll be back at our regular time for several weeks until the end of September when we have another uh, another schedule change, but we'll tell you about that in the weeks ahead. The bell sound and Bradley immediately nailed to Robbie D. Right in the back of uh, the head there, and man, he puts it on him. Into the turnbuckle he goes. Robbie comes out of there, whips him to the other side, and look at this. Man, flip off the top rope. Nice drop kick from Robbie D. These are two of the most athletic wrestlers that we have in Power Pro Wrestling. Oh, they can go. Look at this. Bradley sets him up. High in the air. He's got him. Robbie D sliding down the back there of Steve Bradley. And man, he slams him down. Looks like he jammed his neck. He slammed him so hard there. Yeah, man. He just kept moving him until he got him in position so he could slam him down to the mat. Now Bradley picking him up. He's strong. He slams Robbie D near the corner. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey, look out. Here. Look in the parking lot. That's Kurt that Angle. Kurt Angle has showed up. Off the top rope, flips Bradley. In case you're just joining us, there was a big attack on Kurt Angle last night in Blytheville, Arkansas. We showed it earlier in the kitchen of the, uh, of the concession stand, yeah. Jaron Blytheville. And uh, Cornette and his guys, he and Bradley, engineered that whole thing last night. Saw a nice moonsault earlier from Bradley. Looked like he was going for the same thing. But Robbie D stops him. On the ropes, he's got him. Oh, and Bradley slams him down. Steve Bradley on the top rope springs off. Robbie Whoa. D rolls toward him. Good move by Robbie. He went for that springboard and nobody home. Robbie D gets out of there. He backs him up into the ropes. He goes. Flying elbow takes him down. What a match on the power. Oh, yeah. And remember, Kurt Angle has just arrived. He is going to be looking for Bradley and Cornette for putting him in that freezer last night. Oh, I'm sure he will. Look at this. Ooh, a snap neck breaker. Bradley hooks the leg. This can do it. That is a three count. You're talking about stopping a rotted horse. Robbie D came in, focus day, put up a good fight, but he didn't win the war because Bradley hooked the leg, got to one, two, three, but man, it took him a tough time to do it. And it tells oh, you know, that Bradley is the real deal. Here's the other real deal right here. And Kurt Angle. Ooh. Belly to belly. Look at Angle. He blows the referee. Belly Kurt to Angle. belly. Suplex for everybody, it looks like. Belly to belly from Angle. He came in. Oh, he's going after Robbie D. Belly to belly on Robbie Bruno. Look out, Bruno. He jumps in there and he grabs Bruno. Kurt Angle is very, very upset. He's, he's got that tie. Him, Dave. These yeah. guys threw him in that freezer last night. It comes out and steal it. Other uh, people trying to tell Kurt guys. to come on, let's get out of wow. here, Kurt. But Kurt's here and none he's of them. He's upset. <laughs> Kurt Angle. That's exactly what I want to see with you. That is exactly what you've been missing, Kurt Angle. You've been missing the fire. You've been missing the determination. Don't let anybody screw with you anymore. That's what I want to see out of you. Brady, you're damn right. You see him firing me. I'm an angry man. You know, I'm tired of being a nice guy. You know what nice guys get? Absolutely nothing. They get their power pro belt taken away from them. And last night, a trip to the freezer, which wasn't a very pleasant experience. Well, tonight's a different story, Steve Browning. Tonight's my night. It's my time to shine. 30 minute, 30 minute Iron Man match. That's right. And it'll seem like three days to you, Steve Bradley, when I'm kicking your butt from one end of your Steve to the other. Yeah! I've never seen Kurt Angle like that, Dave, ever since we've seen him. He hadn't been here long, but I've never seen him like that. He is upset, let me tell you. Marathon match tonight at the New Daisy, back here in a moment. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. Now's the time for Escort and CX2 during the Ford authorized clearance. Just announced 0.9% financing plus 1250 cash back on every 99 Escort and CX2. Or choose $2,000 cash back. Hurry to the Ford authorized clearance. 
only at your local Ford dealer. I love my Toyota. It's the sale you've been waiting for. Covington Puck Toyota's year-end clearance. Over 1,000 new, over 400 used. Drastically reduced. New 99 Corolla Automatics. Clearance price just $12,490. New 99 Tacomas. Don't wait. Now just $11,990. Rush to the year-end clearance sale. Only at your number one dealer. Covington Puck Toyota. Here's to the victims of the Noogie Patrol. For anyone who's gotten a wedgie. To the guys who could fit in their own locker. To those who survived gym class. Very nice. For having to deal with this girl on a bad day. For anyone who had a crush on the bad boy. Or had a best friend like this. Freaks and geeks. What high school was like for the rest of us. NBC Saturday, this fall. Everybody loves eating breakfast at IHOP. Well, now there's another side to us. Introducing IHOP's after-breakfast menu. Lots of delicious new choices for lunch and dinner. Like our southwestern chicken fajita salad and a crispy tortilla shell. Or our tender herb roasted chicken with seasoned red potatoes. Of course, if it's breakfast you're looking for, we've still got you covered. Anytime's a good time for IHOP. Power Pro Wrestling on tour tonight, New yes, Daisy sir. Theater. Nine big matches shaping up to be a very interesting night, including a marathon match for the title, the I Quit match, the stretcher match, a tournament for the Young Guns Championship. All tonight, 8 o'clock at the New Daisy Theater. Five dollars for balcony seats down there tonight at the New Daisy. Wednesday night, September 1st, Selma, Tennessee, McNary County Fair. Power Pro rolls to Selma. Seven o'clock's the bell time. Big matches and uh, free admission to Power Pro Wrestling with admission to the fair. Then coming up Thursday night, September 2nd, Walden Bridge, Arkansas at the National Guard Armory. The Odd Dream, and it's presented by K-5. September 11th, Savannah, Tennessee, Hardin County Fair. Their big lineup coming up in Savannah. And then on Friday night, September 17th, back to the Civic Auditorium in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Don't forget New Daisy tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh-huh, and hey, we've got action coming up in the ring right now mm -hmm. on uh, the Power Hour. Back at regular time again next week. In case you're just joining us, man, we've had a lot of things happen today wow. already. Happened. Yes, indeed, and including a review of what happened last night as a uh, as Cornette and uh, Steve Bradley shoved Kurt Angle into a and freezer awful. over in Blyville, and all of a sudden, Kurt Angle arrives very determined, Revenge very fired mind, up. No doubt about it. He was after him here today. He cleared the ring out. Everybody that came in, even his friends, he sent him out. Here's Mick Tierney with Jim Cornette in the tennis racket. Oh, and Kevin, Kevin Christian. Yeah former matchmaker who you very wisely fired. Christian, it's Mr. Christian. He's second in command. He's, uh, he's second a in fired, command of what? Fired he's matchmaker. not the second in command. Hey, your house when I bankrupt you. Yeah, all right. was booked for the new Daisy tonight, but Tierney said, you're so tough. Come on out here today. Yeah. Wolfie D said, I'll be there. Here they are. Leapfrog, followed by a hip toss. Good move from Wolfie. And look at Wolfie D go. He bounces off the rope. Whoa. Slams Tierney down. Yeah. Talk about the old David Goliath story. Wolfie is putting it on the big guy. Couple of left jabs. Well, Wolfie by right hand. is sick and tired of one thing of Tierney out here running his mouth saying that Wolfie quit that last match. Because Tierney must have said that 20 times. Oh, yeah. And it didn't happen that way. Uh, he's got him in one of those submission holes. That may be it. He's going after that submission. Oh, Wolfie gets over to the turnbuckle. He, he ran his face into the top turnbuckle. That gets him a break. That's the same move that he used on Wolfie some time ago, a few weeks ago of the New Daisy Day. It didn't work this time. Wolfie still going. He stands over Mick Tierney. Go oh, for the rope. God. Cornette, Cornette tries to leg. trip. He, he tried to trip him, yeah. but Wolfie fought himself. See, that's Look the out. kind of stuff you hate about Cornette and these guys. Had a good match going on, and he interferes in the thing, Dave. Allowing Tierney from behind to nail Wolfie D. Look at this. Man, he just slammed the Wolfie down. Wolfie D down in the middle.
middle of the ring and Cornette continues to agonize him over there. He's just screaming and yelling all in his face. Just taunting Wolfie D. Yeah. Tierney round behind. Is he going for another one of those submissions? Got a front been the master of it. Yeah, he does. You call the shot. He pulls another one of those submission holes. Uh, Wolfie had a boot over the uh, bottom rope, so the referee broke the hole. Tierney unhappy about that. What a smart move from Wolfie. And a correct call by the official. Wolfie backed up against the ropes, and into the ropes he goes. And Tierney, the big Irishman, stops him as he comes down. Big night tonight at the New Daisy on Bill Street, Dave. We got nine big matches signed, including that one-night tournament for the Power Pro Young Guns Championship. And a lot of the guys said, hey, I'm throwing my hat in the ring. I want to be in this thing tonight at the New Daisy. Look at that move. Big power bomb by Mick Tierney leaves Wolfie lying near the center of the ring. A referee Aubrey Wayne checking with him, but he didn't give it up. He didn't give it up. Cornette screaming and yelling to the top of his lungs over at ringside. And another submission hold. He's got him again on Wolfie. Same Wolfie hold came in with a lot of fire, but Wolfie Tierney reaching for the ropes. Has been able to stop. He, he got him. Hold must be broken. Wolfie grabbed that bottom rope. Great move by Wolfie D. That's a hold that cuts off your oxygen. That's what happened to Wolfie at uh, the New Daisy last time. He cut off the oxygen. He passed out. He had quit. Around behind, Wolfie D. He slipped behind him. He's got the big guy. Look at Wolfie. He gets him down. He's got the hold on Mick Tierney. He's got his own hold on him. Here comes Bradley. Oh, Steve Bradley and Glenn Talker. Cornette's whole crew jumps in. And Jim Cornette jumps in as well. He's got the tennis racket. Kevin Christian picks up that black pole. Wolfie D may have had a victory there over oh. Tierney. No but all of a sudden, here comes his partner. Tierney's in trouble big had time, Polka Dave. come running in here. He's in real big trouble because he doesn't have any help. He's got five against one. We're ringing a bell. Maybe we can get some help for Wolfie because he has taken a fun. Here comes the uh, newcomer, yeah. Jay Gillette. Jay Gillette starts in there, but he's uh, knocked back. Here comes Alan it. Steele. Oh, they Kevin nail Christian. him. They can't even get in the ring. Yeah. They're knocked back off the uh, ring apron. Meanwhile, everybody continues Come on, to work Cornette. on Wolfie D. Cornette, the ring leader, he nails Alan Steele with that tennis racket. And man, they slam Wolfie D down. Cornette and his crew running wild. Here comes Robbie D. They go after him. They don't even let him get in the ring. Alan Steele tries again. Uh-uh. Kolka after him and pounds him across the back. Here's C.B. Wyatt out. And Nobody can get in there to help Wolfie D. I'm telling you. Here's Derek, Derek King. King. Oh, Kevin Christian does it. Here's Big Grimes. Big Grimes is in the ring. Big Grimes. Can you believe that? And all of a sudden, Cornetta said, time to leave. Let's by Jim Cornette earlier today. What? And it looks like he's out here to pay it back, going against the Power Pro Champion. Oh. He just threw the champion out of the ring. He threw him over that top rope, just like he was nothing, man. And there goes Cornette. They're out of here. Steve Bradley in show, dragging him out of here. And Vic Grimes has saved the day. This is Vic Grimes. Let's see if we can get him.
I've been in the ring with you, against you. If you fight as hard with me as you did against me, we will run them clean out of Memphis, baby. All right, car change tonight. Vice President, can they do that? Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. Coming up tonight, listen, we're going to take a quick break. Who knows what else might be coming up here on a power hour. Don't go away. No. Dodge, the home of certified pre-owned vehicles. What does that mean? Well, all of our pre-owned cars and trucks come with a thorough 21-point inspection and a six-month, 6,000-mile service contract at no extra charge, just for your safety and convenience. Right now, you can get a 98 conversion van, just $23,988, or a 96 Ford Explorer, $16,850, or this 96 Neon, $59,98. Give us a call toll-free at 1-888-884-2814. Grapeland Dodge. You ordered a homemade pizza? Fresh pizza coming up, okay? You have any fresh flowers? <laughs> Woohoo! How do you let a gas stove? One oven fresh pizza? Domino's makes it fresh when you call and delivers it hot in the Domino's heat wave. Domino's, made fresh, arrives fresh. The new Domino's, you've got to taste it to believe it. Now at Domino's, get a medium pizza with up to three toppings for $8.99. That's a medium with up to three of your favorite toppings, only $8.99. And add wings for just $3.99. Call now. Solid oak chairs at incredible everyday low prices. Where? At Oak Express, of course. Whether you need a single replacement chair or an entire set of chairs to match your dining table, Oak Express has the right solid oak chair for you. Come see our 22 new styles in solid oak, starting at just $38. Oak Express is your headquarters for solid oak chairs, in stock and ready to take home today. And ask about our one-year free financing program. Oak Express, 5248 Summer Avenue. Free TV5 Power Pro Wrestling tickets. Send a self addressed stamped envelope to TV5 Power Pro Wrestling, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. money? Do you like the perfect gift? Then you will love shopping at the Happy Hawker. We have the friendliest and nicest pawn shops in town with unbelievable buys and fine jewelry, china, crystal, TVs, VCRs, microwaves, CDs, bicycles, antiques, tools, musical instruments, and more. If you're short on cash, we loan almost anything of value. We loan you more for less. Try us at the Happy Hawker, 299 North Cleveland at Poplar and at 975 East Parkway across from Liberty Land. Come and see us. Today, everybody's in such a hurry, but smart folks know how to slow down a little and enjoy life. Smart folks also know about Bill Blake Insurance. For 30 years, the hometown boys have been providing auto insurance for smart drivers, no down payment, just easy monthly payments, and rates lower than Old Man River's voice. It's just not smart to rush around without good insurance. Why? If you get into an accident without insurance, you could land in jail. No money down, easy payments. Bill Blake Insurance. It's time to celebrate huge savings during the Ford authorized clearance. Now lease a 99 Ford Ranger for just $169 a month. Only $169 a month on America's best selling got back pickup. That's a great deal. That's a great reason to celebrate. $169 a month on Ranger during the Ford authorized clearance at your local Ford dealer. All right, well, Glenn Kolka has come running out here with a Canadian flag. By the way, I've, I've uh, been informed that The Rock 
from the WWF, The Rock, is going to be having lunch at Legends on Beale Street, 11.30 on Wednesday. Let's uh, make a note of that, all right? The Rock will be in town. Alan Steele climbs up to go against Glenn Coca. Here is a very unhappy James Cornette. Mick Tierney is out here. Kevin Christian. I suppose that that's your idea of a good time. It's your idea of a lot of fun to have that big, fat, overgrown freak from someplace out in Oakland, California or something come in here and take every guy a weapon in the world. He had brass knuckles. I know he had a chain in his pocket. He had a tire tool stuck in his Oh, no, he didn't, Corden. I, I, I think they're going to make a formidable team. I think you know that and I think that's why you're out here screaming and sweating you you are you are a very nervous young man right now <laughs> well yeah the operative word is young I'm younger than you of course that's not saying much but I'm going to tell you this not much younger. tonight at the new daisy tonight at the new daisy theater down there on Beale Street the home of these drunken Memphis rednecks if you want to fight what, Wolfie what D if you want to I can't insult them they do a good enough job of that I can't make fools out of mother nature beat me to it if Wolfie hey, D come on and, get that thing out of here fat Overgrown imbecile, Vic Grimes, but not one brain cell left in his fried out brain. You've been to too many dead shows, Vic. If they want to fight at the New Daisy tonight, then by gum, brother, we'll give it to them. One way or another, we're going to cripple somebody. I promise you. Well, I'll tell you this. They do want to fight, Cornette. That's why they're showing up, because you and your crew jump in four or five against one. Vic just came about to even things up, and he is going to be that tonight. You're right. And all your insults is how you got yourself into this trouble to begin with. In the first place, that's right. I hate you. I hate you, too. Well, get out of yeah, here. You're Who fine. Can... You're working for Cornhead, but you're not working for us. All I got to say is tonight, you're going to be something. Hey, let me tell you, you get out of here, Cornhead. Oh, man, well, we haven't even been able here. to pay attention to the match up here, but I tell you, on paper, it looked like a mismatch. Alan well, Steele against Coca. Alan, and, and fine young man. And one thing, there's not a referee. There's not a referee in the ring because... Uh, Aubrey Wayne came out and, oh, look at this. Vic Grimes with a chair, Wolfie D with a hubcap. That's going to be the end of the match. Oh, that's going to do it. And there's going no referee off. anyway. He gets out of here. He and Coca. Wolfie has got Tierney down here on the floor. He's got Tierney. Look at Corner with that tennis racket. throwing the Canadian flag at James Cornette. He chucked that flag at Cornette. Hubcap to the head oh, as man. Wolfie goes after Mick Tierney. Well, it's time, Dave Brown. How about that? Regular time next week. This will be continued tonight at 8 o'clock on Beale Street at the New Daisy. The compact pickup J.D. Power and Associates ranks.